Hello guys, this is Kevin Russell here. Um, I'm just going to play a few uh, pit fights as we talk about something I want to talk about, Shadow of War. You know, I'm relatively new to the game. Um, I haven't been playing it too long. We're going to go to the Maggot fight and we're going to go all the way up to Champion. But uh, I just want to say, we're not even going to look at the stats, we're just going to send somebody in there randomly. I guess we'll do this guy. Weed out the week. But uh, I want to talk about how when you're shooting arrows at somebody, whether you have focus or not, as long as you have four or more arrows in your arsenal, you just hit that button rapidly. And when you run out, you can still shoot arrows rapidly for about 10 shots. And they're even faster than when you shoot, No, you know, when you actually have arrows in your arsenal. And, uh, it's a bug. It needs to be fixed. But in the same breath, you know, if they don't fix it, hey, all the power to you. When you're in a rough patch in the game and, you know, like, sometimes everybody has their bad days, you know. Shit, use it. No, we're just gonna sit here and we're gonna watch a few pit fights and, you know. Plus, if you guys watch Skyrim, let me know. I got a lot of ways that you can duplicate items, materials, you know, equipment. Um, that was a lot quicker than I thought it would be, actually, even though I didn't know they were that close in levels. Alright, so let's see what we're gonna do next. Let's go to Warrior. run to. Then again, watching your buddy get his head chopped off. Who wouldn't? <laughs> Alright. What's his name? Grisha the Hammer. Well, guys, it's apparently hammer time. And he is dazed by stealth, fear of poison, damaged by ranged attack, Damaged by executions, damaged by stealth attacks. And let's see, does he lead anybody into battle? I guess not. I guess he's by himself. So, what do you guys think? Should I send in somebody that goes into battle with somebody? Or should I... Yeah, eh. I'll send in the big guy. You guys want to watch him get stomped? I love their their interactions too. Some of these people actually have really funny interactions. My guy's leading in a uh, pack of Karagors. I like to amp up my guys for pit fights sometimes. This guy I actually haven't really done much to. Like I said, guys, I mean, I'm not going to have a lot, you know, high-level people. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not a high-level myself. I'm like 32, but I had just started the game two days ago, and I only have two fortresses taken over. But I figured I might as well log it as I go. Yeah, this is going to be relatively fast. Poison's taking effect, and here it comes. One or two more hits, and he's done. It's right here. Yep. One more hit, just like I thought. Alright, Hammerfest, which is weird because I have another guy named Hammerfest in my other village. This, The other one is Astone or something like that, and this one's As Agura. Agur. It's weird, I don't know. This is one of my favorite things to do right here. You aim, and you can either go to them or pull them to you, just like this. Ooh, what happened? Oh, he was too big to pull. Oh, I messed up on that one, guys. I'm going to be getting my ass kicked in a minute. Like this, for example, is what I meant to show you before I screwed myself. Right here, where is he? Yeah, here they come. I'm sorry, guys. Let me just finish this guy off quickly, and then I'll start over again. Actually, right here, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So, you ready? Watch the bottom left. It's going to say zero, and I'm still going to be shooting rapidly. See that? See how it's still doing that blue? That blue means that I'm still shooting. And it still gives damage. 
And to be honest, when it glitches like that, you ready? Watch again. It actually gives me more damage than if I was to, you know... It gives more damage than if I was to just shoot normal. See? Works every time. And you can just spray and pray. And I know it's a bug, but... I mean... Oh, great. Ran out of air. I was right when this guy was coming. See him come get me. Just gotta find some arrows. Well, we can always outrun him, but that ain't no fun. What was that, the champion? Yep. Oh, did you guys see that leg kick out? That was sexy, huh? I'm going to pay for this. Don't worry, guys. I'll get back to pit fighting. I'm just kind of leading everybody around so I can... Ah, screw it. I'll end it right now. Sorry, guys. I'm almost done, guys. I'll get right back to pit fighting. Okay. I hate these guys. By the way, they're called hunters. You guys are going to hate them if you guys are starting to play this or have been playing it. You guys know what I'm talking about. Alright. Now let's go kill that Karagor for a minute. We're going to make it fair. We'll let him know we're here. There you go. Now he knows we're here. And he apparently tried hitting me. Oh, and we're gonna take his Karagor. And we already killed him, I guess. Alright. Let's get back to pit fighting now. You guys want warrior, right? There you go, go Karagor. Oh my god, come on. It looks like we're gonna take another Karagor, guys. Can't ever win on this game. As you guys just saw me dodge that arrow, that was not intentional, honestly. That was just it worked out perfect. Anyways, now we're just going to stop fighting these guys. That arrow shot where you can go to someone or bring them to you, you can either stun them or kill them. And if you press circle and you have the perk unlocked, you can shadow mount Graugs, Karagors, or Drakes as long as they're broken. But you can uh, pull those green guys towards you. They're called worms. It gives you information on, you know, all this. I actually had to capture all these guys and these two up here, which you can unlock three and a four. And then uh, I believe a five as well, actually. I don't know. And then my overlord. I picked this guy just because it's something singer. He always, you know, when I first started, I picked him. He was the one that I've had since, day, you know, day one on the game. I picked him because he always sings to me while... <laughs> Whenever he would protect me, he would sing me a song. So, why not, right? <laughs> oh, man. We're going to go with like an epic guy. His name's Ear Collector. It's one of my, actually, my favorite guys in the pit fights. And we're just doing random pit fights. We're not doing any order. Soon I'm going to do a little order and weed out, you know, all the weak in my army. Right now, we're going to do a little tournament next time but right now we're just kind of going through and we are technically weeding out the weak anybody that loses i'm gonna go get the guy that beat him but and put him into my army but right now i'm just kind of putting people to fight so i can talk to you guys as i'm going see this is one thing i like though if you put archers or hunters on your side see how they're surrounding them you got one two you had three four oh five i don't know that's one of my guys but they actually surround them and kind of do like a square or hexagon shape so it, you know, they don't stand in a bunch so you can just kill them all. I think it's a good strategy at least. Oh crap, the enemy's got a fire arrow. That is one thing that I think is stupid though. They attack the, the help, not their opponent. Yeah, it's over soon, right here. One more hit. Yep. Oh shit. Oh no, I was right. I thought that guy was going to kill our guy. 
It was an even fight, 25-25. Anybody around me? Look at that guy way over there. You see him? Now you see him. And now you see him closer. And now he's got a sword in his chest for some reason. Alright. What's this guy's weakness? Alright. Immunities. Fireproof. Alright. So we'll use a poison guy. And he has... A gang of hunters. The guys I was just telling you about, they surround the ring, and that's actually the best thing you can use besides Ologs in the pit. And Ologs are good for heavy hitters, but, I don't know, hunters or caragors is what I prefer, but I guess, you know, Olog, Hoys, or Hows, however you say them, they're really good. I mean, I can't really complain about them. So, we're going to use my favorite... Heretic. Or Ratatic, however you say his name. I believe that's him. I didn't really look. I just picked. Yeah, yeah. That is him. I like his little suit. You guys can see the purple and the gold. It looks pretty flashy for an orc. Oh, damn. <laughs> I guess we're just gonna stand there. Oh, there you go, he's throwing poison arrows. I've actually had those gates that you see behind them. Sometimes they have caragors in them. I've actually, not during a pit fight, but you know, during a mission I've come here to do, you know, get some captains and I accidentally shoot them or hit them and I unlock it and oh, this, we're gonna win right here, guys. But, I'm not expecting it. All of a sudden, you got two or three Karagors running up behind you, jumping all over you. Yeah, we win. We're going to find the weakest guy in my army. And we're going to pit him against somebody right now. And we're going to see if I made the right call. Because if I don't think they're going to... if they, Whenever I recruit a captain, if I don't shame him or whatever, and, you know, if I actually have a hard... You know, if I have a hard time with him, I recruit him. If I beat the guy super easily, I'm kind of skeptical on putting him in my army. I usually just make him stay and fight to the death. Let's see what this guy's weakness is. He, Gang of Defenders and Karagor Rider. Ooh. Maybe we should start out as a maggot level to, you know, in the maggot level pit fights to start off and train my guy to give him at least an advantage. But we're not that nice. So we're just going to... Go right to it. Ooh, there's an 11. Oh, man. It's one of my favorite looking guys. He looks like a straight badass. Damn it. Maybe we will start out in the maggot level. Just kind of see where we're going, though. 30, who's that? Oh, ear collector. Mr. Ear collector. Ooh, there's 12. The Ruined. I think that's the guy that I... Yeah. The guy. Alright, we'll do him. We'll send him in there. I'll keep my promise. I really didn't want to break it anyways. I just didn't want to send one of my favorite guys in there without at least giving him a chance. So my guy's got a gang of warriors. The other guy's got a gang of defenders with a Karagor rider. Or he's a Karagor rider. So this is going to be interesting. Oh, shit. Shoot, I didn't think of that. He's terrified of Karagors. Why did I not think of that? So yeah, we're going to lose this big time, guys. I hope you guys know that. Yay. Kill the Karagor. Kill it. Make it fair, at least. Because my guy is not going to last much longer. Karagor is not going to last much longer. Keeps getting hit like that. Our guy needs to get out of there, though. Should have gave that guy at least a poison weapon or a fire weapon or something. Made it even, because... Yeah, we're gonna lose, guys. I mean, I shouldn't say that yet, but... 
I've seen this go a lot worse than this and then turn around on me, but that guy's been terrified the whole fight and he's almost out, so I highly doubt it's going to go anywhere. Especially since he doesn't have any guys left. Yep. And that is why I didn't put my favorite guy in there. But now, we're going to put somebody in there to fluff his day around. But first... We're going to do this. We're going to recruit this guy. And I'm going to show you guys that little trick I showed you. Watch. See how it just lets me keep shooting until I'm either hit or... We're going to recruit this guy, by the way. I'm sorry, but I need him. But first... And we're gonna maul him. Ooh, look at him go. Go, Kara, go, Kara, go. Jump, Kara, jump, Kara, jump. And now we're going to do this. And as you guys are gonna see, recruit, fight to the death, or shame to reduce level, or you can do worse than death, make them deranged. I'm going to recruit because he just killed one of my guys, so I don't need my army too weak. And now I got another good pit fighter. So there's two pluses in losing in a pit fight. Just always remember though, if you find a guy over you and you do have the worse than death uh, shame, I would change it to reduce level because uh, if the guy is over your level, you cannot recruit him. Oh, look at this guy. I hope I, I hate to say it, but I hope I lose. Bombs, oh, one of my favorite guys, I'll show you guys who. He has bombs, a fire sword, and he has a pack of savages with fire weapons with him. And he is a complete badass in the pit fight. He has never lost. I've put him through champion fights, probably about 10. I've put him through warrior fights. I don't even know how many. And maggot fights, I don't even want to get started. Vulnerable to stealth, ranged fire, and beast. Okay, we'll see what we can do. Anyways, the guy that is invincible is right here. That big m o t h e r fluffer all right let's see what are we gonna do what are we gonna do oh wait this is my other champion right here i forgot all about him hot tongs watch this guy this guy is just as badass he's got a gang of hunters people i was telling you guys that loop around and play it smart around the ring or pit This guy's actually really good. Oh, crap. I've never seen him taking an advantage of like this. Come on, Hot Tongs. I really hope I didn't make a mistake by putting you in here. One of my favorite guys. It's one thing I like about, that I like about him is his uh, booby traps. But apparently that guy's got the same thing. Right over there between them, bl glowing red. Ooh, the Karagor's doing some damage. So isn't that fire. One of the things I like about Boog Hawk Tongs is he actually throws his fire weapon a lot more than you'll see a lot of these guys throwing their fire weapons or poison weapons. I will say though, this guy is hitting us pretty good. I mean, he's landing solid hits. Our guy's got to be careful, even though it's going to be over right in this next hit. Right here, yeah. Oh, cut his head off for the crowd. Come on. You actually gonna do it or no? Dang. Sorry, guys. And everything you do win in the pit fight, as you can see above, is I actually get it, so. But, you know, that's basically it for pit fights. I mean, you know, I, there's nothing really too special about it, but in the same breath, it's not like it's. Ooh. 
Oh, where are you going? I don't get it. I don't get why he wasn't fighting. But, I mean... Anyways, let's see. Is there any way I can show you guys what the worms do? No, there's not. But anyways, this is my champion right here. He's not a high level. I haven't used him in a while. I mean... So he's got... Epic Trait. He's got Gang of Elite Savages. They all have fire weapons and they're all... You know, highly skilled. Flame weapon. That big mace that you see right here. He is a solid hitter. Fire bombs, like I was telling you guys about. And this is one of my favorite. The Fire Mines. These things do damage. Especially with his gang of epic uh, savages with fire weapons. He's an advanced class destroyer. Final Inferno. And he's an Olog. Uh, he's an Olog, so you know he's naturally big and strong. But, you know. And the best part is when he sees a Karagor, a lot of people get terrified. Like you saw that last fight when we got our butts kicked. This guy sees Karagors and he kicks ass. Um, all of his weaknesses, I mean, you don't really get many stealth attacks in the pit fights, so I wouldn't even worry about that, guys. Um, ranged attacks, that's one of my main things I would worry about, but this guy, I don't know, he's usually really good. Like, I, I don't even know if I can pit fight him. Like, yeah, I don't think I can. No, I can't, because he's one of my warlords, but... There's my singer guy right there hmm um so that's you know that's about it for this video guys there's that land like i was telling you right here i conquered that i just conquered this like literally 20 minutes ago this is this army right here these ones are a little higher level This is my warlord for this one. He's got the same outfit as my champion in the last one. It's just I haven't really done too many pit fights on this one. Like I said, I just barely beat it, like, not too long ago. So, I mean, and this is one of my favorite guys. Shun the Unseen. Look at this guy. He's just a straight-up weaponized badass. Spears, flaming spears, swords, knives, kunai armor with spikes, face with, you know, mask with spikes, like, how badass can you not look? And look at that, he's got some weird-ass face on his backpack. Well, that's it for this video, guys. Please, like and subscribe, I almost said prescribe. And, I'm going to post videos rapidly, so, please like and enjoy, and hopefully you guys keep them, you know, keep them coming. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.